Hi dear students in this class we are going to explain a 10th class of science physics part electricity chapter ncert 10th or cbse 10th exercises topics page number 193 question number 8 question number 9 question number 10 numerical problems so first what about question number 8 you can see in the page number 193 when a 12 volt battery is connected across unknown resistor there is a current flow 12.5 2.5 milliampere find the value of resistance so question number 8 so question number 8 we are solving so potential difference is a given 12 volts potential difference v is 12 volts given and Current flowing in the resistor is 2.5 milliamperes. Current value I is 2.5 milliamperes. So which is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 amperes. Next we want to find unknown resistance. So find the value of resistance of the resistor. So we want to calculate resistance of the resistor R. So we have a formula from Ohm's law V is equals to IR. Then R is equals to V by I. So R is equals to V by I. V value is 12. I value is 2.5 into 10 power minus 3. Which is equal to 12 into this denominator. And changing into numerator. It is a 10 k put by 2.5 is written as 25 by 10. Then this implies R is equals to 12 into 10 keyboard means 1000. And this denominator becomes a numerator by 25. 25 ones to 25 40s. So R is equals to 12 into 14 to 100, 10, 400. So this implies R is equals to 12 fourths. 4800 ohms. This is uh, resistance of the unknown resistor. Now what about question number 9? So question number 9 we see now. A battery of 9 volts is connected in series to a resistor of 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 12. So all are connected. Then uh, how much current flows through the 12 ohm resistors? So 12 ohm resistor dwara 12 ohms dwara calculate chali alage all these resistors. So what is total current? How much current flows through respectively and also how much current flows through the 12 ohm resistors? We want to calculate. So question number 9. Potential difference uh, Potential difference is a given. Potential difference V is 9 volts given. And all the resistors, these are connected in series. That is, we want to calculate R. Series means they are added. 0 0.2 plus, 0 0.3 plus, that is 0 0.4 plus. 0 0.5 plus and 12 ohms all are connected in series so this implies series means sum of the resistance of the resistors in calculation so it is equal to 13.4 ohms on summation so now what is the current flowing through this resistor from ohms law we have v is equals to ir then i is equals to v by r so i is v value that is 9 and this is a 13.4 it can be written as 134 by 10 and it will be 9 into 10 by 134 that is 90 by 134 will be equal to 0 0.67 amperes so i is 0 0.67 amperes this is a, we want to calculate so you know when the resistors are connected in series current throughout all the resistors same current value ee vidhanga untadi ante 
సేమ్గా ఉంటుంది కరెంట్ వాల్యూ మారదు కరెంట్ డస్ నాట్ చేంజ్ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ డస్ నాట్ చేంజ్ వెన్ ద రెసిస్టర్స్ ఆర్ కనెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ సిరీస్ సో ఇన్ ద సిరీస్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ రెసిస్టర్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో చేంజ్ ఇన్ కరెంట్ so next one how much current would flow through the 12 ohm resistor so in the ninth question there are two things we want to calculate one is what is the current flowing through all these resistors when connected in series and 12th one so we know that here this is 6.7 we know that in a series combination of series combination of resistors same current flows through all resistors therefore current to through 12 ohm resistor is 0.67 ampere so this is the ninth one next to 10th question we are going to solve question number 10 very very important one so now what is how many 176 ohm resistors in parallel are required to carry 5 amperes and 220 volts in parallel combination how many 176 ohm resistors are required to carry current 5 amperes and potential difference so potential difference v is a given 220 volts and current i is a given 5 amperes and resistance of each one r is a given 1 176 ohms so now we want to calculate a number of 176 ohm resistors we want to find it is a denoted by n when they are connected in parallel so they are connected in parallel so in parallel in parallel combination such a 176 ohm resistors n n resistors are connected in parallel combination so 1 by rp is equals to 1 by r plus 1 by r plus 1 by r plus and so on equal to n by r so this implies total resistance of this uh, n resistors of each one 176 so 1 by rp is equals to n by r this implies rp by 1 reciprocal we are taking r by n so rp is equals to what is r by n so now we want to find n we know that from ohms law from ohms law v is equals to i r v is equals to i r this implies i is equals to v by r but r is taken here i is equals to v by rp r is taken as rp so this implies rp means v by r by n so this implies i is equals to v into n by r or simply we want to calculate which one n we want to calculate n so then n is equals to i into r by v so i value 5 amperes and this is 176 v value this is a 220 so by cancellation 1 220 176 into 5 by 27 so now what is 176 into 5 5 6 30 5 7 35 38 and this is 518 so n is equals to 880 by 220 so 200 cancel 22 1 so 22 4 so n is equals to this implies 4 so when 176 ohm 
ఫోర్ రెసిస్టర్స్ కెన్ క్యారీ ఫైవ్ యాంపియర్ కరెంట్ అట్ దిస్ వోల్టేజ్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు దిస్ ఈస్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ వన్ నైంటీ త్రీ పేజ్ నెంబర్ వన్ నైన్ వన్ నైంటీ త్రీ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఎయిట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ నైన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ టెన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సో ఇన్ కమింగ్ క్లాస్ విత్ అదర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్సర్స్ అండ్ విత్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ వీ కమ్ టు యూ దట్స్ ఆల్